Welcome to the ADF Insider Essentials series which will demonstrate essential skills, tips, tricks and techniques that you'll require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration you'll see how to programmatically iterate through the rows in a view object. So why might you want to do this? Well let's look at our departments and employees example where a department has many employees and we might decide that we want to programmatically iterate through all the employees in a particular department to perform some action. For example, all the employees might get a raise, the uh, job roles might be reassigned, or there maybe each employee is reassigned a new manager. To do this, the framework classes that require are the view row impl class. This represents the row in a view object. So in this case, we'll create a department's view row impl, which will represent the single row in the department and employees view row impl which represents the rows of the employees. We're also going to be using a class called a row set and this re represents the queried rows for a particular view object. In this case it will be the queried rows for the employees of a specific department. So in pseudocode what we're going to do here is write some code which will for a specific department row will get the associated employee rows, so all the employees for that department, and then we'll iterate round those rows, and while there is a row, it will do an action on that row. And in the demonstration, we're going to show giving the employee, or each employee in the department, a pay rise. So the classes we'll use are the department's view row impo, and that will point to a row set, and then we'll iterate around that row set getting employee view row impulse, so lots of rows of each employee record, and then we'll do some action on it. We're going to call the set salary method. So let's look at this in a demonstration. Okay, let's look at our department's view object. And for this department's view object, we're going to create the Java class which represents the row. And we'll have accessors for that. Let's OK this dialog. And then we'll do the same for the employees view object. We're going to generate out the employees view row impl class and include accessors as well, which allow us to get and set values of a row. Let's save. And let's go in and add the method that we're going to add which will allow us to give a rise to all the employees in this current department row. That's why we're writing it in the department's view row impo class. So the method is apply emp rise and that's taking a number and that's the amount of the rise we're going to give each of the employees. And let's import the row set. So this row set will represent the rows of the employee rows for the current department. So we call get employees view which will return that view object cast it to row set and now we're going to write the code to iterate round all the rows in the employees row set so emp dot has next Then we declare the current row, cast it to employees view row impl. And next. So that will get the next row in the row set of employees. And then for that row, we want to do our action. In this case, we're going to set the salary of the employee, 
and the value we're going to set it to will be the current salary so the current rows salary and to that we add the, the level of rise we're giving let's just reformat the code there so you can see it nice and neatly and compile that so now that we've added that method we need to expose the method so we create a client interface there's the method that we're adding there you can see the return and the parameters and let's OK that and again save the project so we've added a method we've made it public through the client interface and now we're going to call that method on this toolbar and if we go to the data controls palette there we can see our department and we can now see our new method apply employee rise which will drop on as a parameter form which will give us a button and a field for the parameter and let's just make a couple of very quick changes change the label And we'll also change this field rather than a freeform text field. Let's convert that field to an input number slider. And again, let's set the minimum, maximum, and the intervals for the slider. Let's save and run and test. Okay, and let's go to department 30 and let's give the, all the employees in department 30 a pay rise and then we can see the salary update. And let's go to another department and let's do the same so to summarize we took a view row impo class from the department's view object and for that department's view object we found a row set or a collection of rows for the employees for each employee row, which was a view row impl itself, we went round each employee, received the current row, and then made a call to set salary. If you want to learn more, you can go to the Oracle Tech Network at oracle.com forward slash technology forward slash jdev. Thank you for listening.